Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at Southeast, home of the Blue Knights. Uh, we're in their locker room with some of their players. Who do we have here? Myron Lewis, uh, number 52, right tackle, defensive end for varsity. Run it down, your career. All right. Um, my first time ever playing football was freshman year for here. I played JV. And then my sophomore year, I started on varsity, right, right tackle, the end. And uh, um, the end? Me, yeah. Well, me personally, uh, I I don't really like consider myself. I didn't really like play all that good last year. I am evolving, and I wish to evolve this year and next year as a senior. And yeah, you get any sacks? Uh, no, no, not really. Okay. Uh, have you been in the weight room uh, during the summertime? Yes, sir. With uh, our former coach from last year, Coach Coffee. Mm -hmm. So I have been in the weight room ever since uh, with uh, you know. When did you decide to get serious about uh, the game? You said that you were, you were here, but you weren't here. Um, well, really, the first time I stepped in the field, I like, it was something new, and I actually liked it, so I wanted to continue it, especially in college, and hopefully further in career, like in the NFL and stuff. What, what, what's it like down in the trenches? Uh, <laughs> it's hard, but we're working. It's hard, all but we're working. All you linemen be like, man, it's hell down there. But it is my position. I love it. So. You love it? Yeah. Uh, who's been a mentor in your personal life? Well, as uh, Austin said, Sean Coffey, he, uh, he really helped me look at myself in a different light. And like, he made me feel like I was actually like special. This program is brought to you by Dye Electric LLC, Energy in Motion. How important is your education to you? At, uh, academics is very important if you... If you don't have that, then you don't play. And have you set any personal goals for yourself this season? Uh, yes, to keep grinding, elevate myself, and just get better. You shouting out? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out to my mother, Tara Lewis. And shout out from the baby boy, Miss Lewis. I also want to shout out my brother, Therese Lewis. Shout out to the baby boy, Therese. <laughs> and that's it. All right, who we got here? Yeah, I got your boy Big Real, a.k.a. Lareel Dennis. You know what the drill is. Yes, Run sir. it down to him. O-line, I play center, and uh, I, I play the whole line for real, for real. Then D-line, I play D-tackle, and that's it. I've been here since freshman year. Run, run, run from your freshman all the way down up to where you're at now. What Fresh those seasons were. Go ahead. Freshman year, I was on JV. Then uh, sophomore year, I was on JV until, like, the last three games to injuries. Then I got a few PT at center. Then I really played defense that much instead of JV. Yeah. And so junior year, I started offense, and I didn't really start what, defense. What, what, kind, of, what kind of team did you have your, uh, that year? What, my junior? Yeah. My junior team, we are solid. Like, it was the O-line. I feel like we had the best O-line in the IL, you know. And so then we had the best players, you know. All right. Yeah. Well, that, that's how you feel. Yes, who's, been a, who's been a mentor to you on the field? I say, I say we, a, we a team. So we all mentor each other and the coaches, you know. And all, I can't just say one coach. You know, all coaches been there. Well, all coaches help. Yeah, but different coaches add different things to different people's games. Yes, sir. Well, I say, I say, Coach Drew and Sean Coffee for real, for oh, real. Oh, 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 and right. Coach Carter. You know, Co he, Co Coach Carter pick you up when you need that when you've been down so long. You know, how uh, how, how is it uh, when you're sitting on the bench? Uh, how do you stay in in the game? I I usually ask the athletes. Even you know, even stars sit sit the bench sometime and. Uh, tell our audience what that's like. When I sit on the bench, I'm either sitting next to a player that I'm next to in a game talking about what's going on. All right, or, that's what's up. Yeah, or we did something good, we might be laughing at how we did something, you know. All right. Uh, have you set any personal goals for yourself this season? My goal is just to keep pushing, you know, and just make it out. I'm trying to go to college, JUCO, it don't matter, you know. You just want that scholarship. Yes, See, sir. you get that through sports, uh, you can get an education, and that's why Cascade Sports is known as the – home of the student athlete, uh, that education can take care of you for the rest of your life if you understand really what uh, the world is about. Yes. And it costs so much to go to college. If you can go to a JUCO, yes, you sir. one up on the next guy. Uh -huh. uh, you shouting out? I want to shout out to my mother, Ava Kirkland. She's been there for, since the beginning. I'm also in foster care, all my foster brothers and them, and my father, uh, Frank, Franklin Kirkland. Shout out from your baby boy. All right. It was a pleasure having you all on the show, and we look forward to covering one of your games. Thank you. Thank you. This program is brought to you by Dye Electric LLC, 
energy in motion.